Hello, this is Dr. Wes Fryer. Today is August the 9th, 2020. And in this screencast, I'd like to teach you a very powerful way to embed a document on, or embed a Google document on a website. And in this case, I'm gonna show you how I am putting the learning guide that we're gonna use this year as we have poten the potential to be remote learning at home with students, have students at home, what we're calling flex learning, uh, and then students face to face. It's really important. What do we do in class? Where do students go to get their information? So let me first just show you what one of my websites looks like. So I think I'll move my picture over here. Um, so this is my um, fifth grade computer class. I've got six different sections um, this year. And I've recorded introductory videos for each one of my classes that I just have right now at the top. This is the bulletin board class, uh, page that we have for each class. So I've got some links over here on the side, but look down below, I have this Google document embedded right there. And as I continue to add things to this, um, parents will be able to scroll down and, and they'll see the most recent things right at the top. And then if they need to go back further, they can see that. That's what I'm gonna teach you and show you how to do right now. So here I have, have my fifth grade learning guide. So this is a Google document. It's got a table in it. I'm going to add content to this. Um, what I need to do is make one of these for my sixth grade class. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to choose to make a copy and I'm going to rename this and I'm going to take out copy of because that's put on there automatically. And so I'm going to call, I'm going to say this is for uh, 6-1 and 6-2. I'm going to change the location. And so instead of having it in computers five, I've made a folder in Google Drive for my 2020-21 academics. So all of my class stuff for what I'm teaching, I'm going to put in here. And I'm going to create a new folder right now that I'm going to call computer, it's actually computer, I guess, computer six. And that's where I'm going to put my learning guide. Okay. This is immaterial for my parents and students who are going to see this. But for me, I think it's important to um, you know, try to be organized. And so that's what, that's what I am, am doing here. Uh, so here it is. This is now a copy of the learning guide. And this is in that particular folder. Um, I've changed the title, but I need to change my um, title here. So I'll go ahead and indicate um, what that is down here in the document. And so now I'm ready to share this document. Okay. Now, typically when we share a Google document, we'll go to the upper right corner. We'll click on that share icon. And right now, um, as, as all documents are by default, when you make them new in Google, unless you make them in a, in a, a folder that's different, um, it is, it is not shared. It is only available to folks, uh, who would be at Cassidy, um, well, actually, and that would be because I put it in a special folder. This isn't how I want to share it, okay? I don't want to share it by clicking on this share button. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to go up to the file menu, and I'm going to go down to the link that says publish to the web, all right? And there's a big blue button there that says publish. That's what I'm going to click, and I have to click OK. This is now an unlisted link that if I wanted to, um, I could put this link into you know, an email, I could put it into Google Classroom, Seesaw, wherever I want. I'm going to open up an incognito window to show you. So I'm not logged in at all to Google right now. And here it is. This is the page and parents aren't going to have to log in. Uh, this link will will be visible, okay, as a web page. This web page will. But what I want to do is I want to embed this page inside my site. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on embed and I'm going to encourage you not to be scared, all right, because there's a little code here. But when I click on this, I'm going to copy that. So I could use my, on my Mac here, a command C, or I can two finger tap on my trackpad or right click, and I'm going to choose copy. So I've just copied that, uh, that text. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to come over here to a text document and I'm going to, to paste that in. And I'm going to basically, um, I'm going to basically plan to uh, have the text that I'm going to want on my little web page. I've done this a couple times. So I'm going to want to have at the top of my page, welcome, if I can spell sixth right, um, to sixth grade media and digital literacy with Dr. Fryer. I want to um, actually have a uh, video link that I'm going to put in. I'm going to put my video in there. And I'll do a separate video actually to show you about putting in the video. And then this is going to be my learning guide 
or sixth grade. Okay, this is just text. Um, the big thing I want to do is is be embedding the the document. Um, so I'll I'll do that first. Okay, I'm gonna but I'm just doing this to try to be prepared uh, instead of just typing. I'm I'm gonna copy and paste. So I have copied that. Um, that, that code. And what I would need to do now is go to the place where I want to put it. So I'm going to navigate to my computer 6.1 class, my first section. And right now I don't have anything at all on this page. So we use a, a system called Blackboard and we call this MyCassidy. Uh, whatever information system you're using to share information with parents, the techniques I'm going to talk about in terms of embedding should work. I'm going to click on edit mode and now I've got the option to, to have all these different things here on my page. Um, I don't pretty much want any of these things except I am going to put text um, at the top and then I'm going to I'm going to actually leave my links here. Um, but right right now I'm just going to add some text. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon to edit it. And uh, this particular website requires that I have a title. So that's why I copy that. That's going to the, the title here. Um, is going to be for my learning guide. Actually, there's a couple ways I could do this. I could do this with text. I think I'm going to do this with what's called the embed. So I'm going to put this widget. You can have one of each widget in, in Blackboard on your bulletin board. And so I'll reserve the text up there for kind of welcome in my video. I'm going to use embed. And when I click on the pencil here, same thing, although they call it a caption. There's my caption. And now I'm going to put my embed code. However, there's going to be one small change here. Um, instead of just putting in the iframe like you see it here, I'm going to type um, two things. I'm going to type width equals uh, quote 800, end quote. And then I'm going to type height equals quote 800, end quote. So I've put that inside my code for this iframe. And the reason for that is I want to specify the size. I want this to be an 800 pixel by 800 pixel embed. Again, this may look scary. And you do have to have the, the code right. You know, you need to have the spaces and the quotes there. Uh, but let's, let's see what happens. Because once I have this set, I'm going to leave this for the entire uh, trimester. And I'm not going to have to change it. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. So I have my title here. And then this is exactly what I copied right from my Google document publish page for embed. The only addition here is that I put in width equals, and I put it in quotes, 800 space, and I said height equals 800. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now let's take a look at what this will actually look like. I think I have to, can I move this? Move this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to click on Preview Page. And right now, um, all you will see is going to be um, this learning guide. But take a look at that. Isn't that sweet? That is awesome. This Google document, and this will automatically update, and this will just stay um, available for my parents throughout the year. So it's a little geeky to, to make this, this embed. Oh, look, and I misspelled the word six. Let's, let's, let's fix that. We'll go back and edit the title of this. So I'll click on my pencil. I, I, I didn't say TH. So here under, I need six TH, sixth grade, okay. All right, so that's going to be available to my parents and my students whenever they go um, to to see this page. Um, did I do six two? Did I not save my work? Ah, that's right. I guess this is blocked down here in the bottom by my little icon here. Um, okay, <laughs> that's important. Man, um, I need to click in the corner here where it where it says to save. <laughs> when I previewed it, 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 it saved my work. It just hadn't published it. So in the very bottom right corner, I've got to click save. There we go. And so now I have this. So I will go in and add the other elements here um, because I want to have my video here at the top and I want my links. And I'll go ahead and actually just show that in a, in a separate video. Um, but that is the technique. That is the way that you can embed a Google document. Look at that. It's going to be there for my parents, and it'll be there for the entire term. And I won't have to come here to change any, anything else uh, unless I want to add something. But when I, when I come to my document, I'm simply going to come here to my document, type it, and it's going to show up 
right on that page that's on my uh, my my Cassidy bulletin board page for that class. So I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, good luck as you embed your own Google documents in other places.